stop. Good morning, Kay. The time is 5.30 a.m. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Kay. As you can tell from the title, I'm going to talk about how I feel about attending community college. So first, let me tell you how I ended up here. So you know how there's a bunch of college videos about people applying to like 10 plus colleges back in high school. But as for me, I only applied to three schools, San Francisco State, UC Davis, and UC Berkeley. All of the other safety schools that I had in mind were places that I didn't really imagine myself going into. And just to go straight to the point, I got into SF State, I got waitlisted at UC Davis and rejected at UC Berkeley. And UC Berkeley is still currently my dream school. Berkeley was the only university that I applied to that had architecture as their major. When I didn't get in, I was like... Researching what should be my backup plan to have a second chance at getting back into Berkeley. And the option was to go to community college first and then transfer and apply a second time to that dream school. The University of California's are so much more competitive to get into that it requires more than just grades to actually get accepted into. All right, now let me tell you about how I actually feel about attending community college. So obviously there's a stigma that if you're attending community college, you were a slacker back in high school, you didn't try as much, all these negative connotations to it. I was a straight A student back in high school, so I wasn't a slacker. In reality, it's not true for so many people. There's so many people I've met here that are the most hard working, disciplined, very talented people. I don't blame people that think otherwise. Back when I was in high school, I heard a bunch of my classmates who were like, oh, since I'm going to community college right after high school, I'll use that as an excuse to not try as much for grades or push yourself to take challenging courses that are interesting. Anyways, do I regret going to community college instead of going to a four-year university first? Not at all. I just learned so much that I wouldn't have otherwise learned. Whether it be learning a bunch of architecture softwares, making models, participating in architecture competitions, laser cutting, and also getting my first job as a lab technician here, it, it just blows my mind how much I've grown from just one year of attending community college as an architecture student. I also met some of the most wholesome people here and I wouldn't have otherwise met them if I hadn't come here first. As you know, community college is a lot more cheaper than a four-year university, so it makes me feel good about myself that I am saving thousands of dollars for these two years at community college. At the end of the day, I'm still getting the same degree as someone who first attended a four-year university as a freshman. So yeah, community college is a humbling experience. I don't regret a single thing about it because Everything just falls into place. I just understood why people say that life has a funny way of working out. And it really does. Anyways, if you have any questions, leave a comment. I always reply. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like. And also, if you want to see more videos about college, architecture, productivity, all that sort, whatever's on my mind, subscribe for the people who left comments on my last video. Let me praise you guys. All right, nosy. Cow? It's cow? Or cow? I don't know how to pronounce it, but let me know. And Ashley, thank you for commenting on the last video. Makes my day. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I have 20 minutes before my first morning class starts. <clears throat> oh my gosh, my voice is already dying. All these gooses are ruining my audio. <laughs>